Hello and welcome. I'm James Corden from Sky One. Today we bring you an important report. Let's head straight to Studio One at Sky Academy Skills Studios. Good afternoon. Welcome to Sky One. My name is Kai Alexis and I'm accompanied by Zach Jama. So Kai, with a fight coming on tomorrow, are you going to be Team Pac-Man or Team Money? Definitely Team Mayweather because he's undefeated and to be honest I don't think Pacquiao can keep up with him. Uh, we shall see what happens tomorrow at 4 a.m. But our main headline today is... A celebrity is someone who is famous or well-known. One photo of a celebrity can be worth tens of thousands of pounds. YouTube has created a new type of celebrity. YouTubers have made full-time jobs out of creating videos for their channels and earning money through the YouTube Partner Program. Look at Justin Bieber, for example. He got scouted by Usher now, now on YouTube and now he's a worldwide phenomenon. KSI is a millionaire who gained his wealth by just taping himself playing FIFA and putting it online and this is a dream job for many. Very true. If I had the opportunity to sit down and play games all day, God knows I wouldn't be here. I wish they let me study that at uni. On the other hand, YouTube, is, YouTube isn't the only platform that generates celebrities. Take the paparazzi for example who promotes celebrities. I reckon a picture of me would be worth tens of thousands of pounds. Come on, look how handsome I am. Yeah, a dream on. We shall later be speaking to upcoming YouTubers and Arsenal legend later on. But for now, over to Shaquille Allen at Instagram HQ. Thank you, Zach and Kai. I'm Shaquille Allen, reporting to you live from the Instagram HQ. Our top story today is how we can use social media as a platform to become famous in today's society. For example, Justin Bieber, getting recognition off of YouTube and other social media platforms such as Twitter, connecting to his fan base. Because of the rise of social media in recent years, Many people have taken the opportunity to gain fame worldwide, such as Jack Scat. Who's that? My point exactly. But his 144k following, who may be their inspiration, or Zoella, who showcases her skills to her inherent beauty for her 7 million and counting subscribers. But all good there, that comes bad. Take a look at the very popular Kylie Jenner challenge, encouraging young girls and some very curious boys to take part in inflating their lips with disastrous results. One unfortunate case, a once beautiful young woman experienced a glass exploding to her lips, causing some serious damage. I guess she learned her lesson in being unoriginal. To continue, I would like to hand you over to my friend Albert, reporting to you live from Kensington High Street, discussing YouTube and the opportunities it affords young, aspiring artists to one day become household names. Over to you, Albert. Thank you, Shaquille. I'm Albert Corker, reporting for Sky One, here from Kensington High Street. Many people, people walking behind me, these streets could be aspiring artists uploading their content to YouTube, hoping to get recognition in the music industry. The idea of using YouTube to build fame is seen as revolutionary to many, using Justin Bieber as a prime example, but there are still some out there who believe that YouTube is not considered as a hard work. I have with me here YouTube sensation, TY from Belly Squad and J Clubs, a multi platinum award winning artist. Thank you for joining me, guys. Thank you for having me. Thanks for having me. Ty. Tell us a bit about your journey with YouTube and when you felt things really started to turn up in your favour. Uh, I think my journey has been really good um, over the past couple of months. Yeah. Um, I've just got so many views on YouTube, I've got fans stopping me on the roads and it's just been a pleasure. As an artist who made it in a traditional way, what are your thoughts on artists such as a tie using YouTube to make names for themselves in the music industry? Um, I think it's great, but it takes you away from the old way of doing things. Mm. Like the old school way of actually putting your work in and doing stuff and going out to the street and promoting it. Yeah. It takes that away. Finally, is YouTube helping the industry of industry or, or hindering it? I think it's helping the industry. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that can um, basically put their talent on YouTube and mm. broadcast themselves, so I think it's good. I think it's hindering it because it's taking away from learning how to promote it, promote your own stuff, because then most people, like, example, if you say Dr. Dre, mm. he learned how to promote his things. So now he knows how to make his own company if he wants to promote it and that. Mm. Thank you both for your time. For more celebrity culture, connect to me on social media, and now hand over to you, Lucas, to discuss the issue further with an expert. I've been Albert Corker reporting for Sky One. Back to the studios with Lucas. Thank you, Albert. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Lucas, and today we're going to be talking about celebrities and social media. UK, 2,600 magazines are sold every minute, which is 3.7 million every day. One of the most popular types of magazine is the fashion magazine. Also, one in 20 people have bought digital magazines this year, 
rising to 1 in 10 amongst 18 to 24 year olds. I'm here with Reese, who's an arse of legend, and Jordan, who's a random bloke. Uh, what do you guys think are the growing influence of celebrities on young people, and why is there a growing interest from young people to read ma celebrity magazines? Um, well, I think that the influence on young people is just like too heavy. It's almost like young people are trying to be the celebrities, but in my opinion, you should just be your own person. And as with magazines, it's just like, they're all trying to get ideas from the celebrities about what they should do, what they should look like. But as I said, just be your own person. I disagree with your, um, your response to that answer. Um, us as celebrities, we are our own person. Um, people that get influence from us, they choose to do it themselves. So it's not really our fault that young children are aspiring to be us. Yep, fair enough. Uh, how do you use social media to interact with your fans, Reese? Um, I use Twitter. All of my fans can follow me on that to see what I get up to you every day. <laughs> can find some really interesting <laughs> things on there. No, 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 no. Well, why would they do that? I mean, they've got their own lives to go on with. Like, they don't have to follow you on Twitter. Well, yeah, you're right. You don't really have to follow, but... <laughs> but it might as well. Yeah, you might as well. legend. Hopefully, so. hopefully. Yeah. Um, Jordan, why are you actually here? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's a long story. I mean, I I'm not sure how I actually got here. It just, it just happened. Like, one minute I was outside the studio, next thing I'm here, and yeah, right. strange things are happening. Cool. Yeah, I was surprised to see you. But um, <laughs> thanks for coming, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching, and thanks to the brilliant team at Sky Academy Skills Studios.